I just finished a book called Essentialism, and I want to go over what I learned from it. My biggest notes is, if it's not a heck yes, it's a no. The biggest thing about Essentialism is realizing that not everything matters. Very little things that actually matter, and those things are the 10%. So every single time that people tell you something, or like if you request, 90% of the time, say no. Have boundaries. Have like... Know exactly what you're working towards and then only say yes to the things that work you towards those things. So focus on a priority, not priorities. Priority, singular, not not a lot, not more than one or two. So instead of trying to focus on doing fitness, business, and like school and all these things, try and find one to maximum of two things you want to just bunker down on completely and do those all out. And then the reverse pilot. Ask yourself with all of your habits you have, how much would you pay to buy it? So for example, it's kind of hard for us to sell things once we have them, right? But if we reverse pilot and say, how much would I spend to buy this back? We can see that it's not actually as important as we think it is, or how much uh, would I sacrifice to get this like experience or this hobby or this person? How much would you sacrifice to get that opportunity again? If you had like, a potential business opportunity, how much would you sacrifice to get that thing? Ask yourself these things, and if it's not big enough, if you don't care about it enough, eliminate it. There's also this other concept called the trade-off. So you can't have both. You must trade X for Y. For example, if you want to get fit, but you like this diet that you're having right now, and it's like a bad diet, you have to trade it off. You either have to be able to get rid of the bad diet and become fit, or you have to be okay with not being fit. It's the trade-off. This was my review of essentialism and would I recommend it? One out of 10, I'd give it a solid seven. I think it was very good, but the first like 100, 200 pages were the most important parts and I wouldn't go any further than that because it kind of started just randomly spewing out. But besides that, the information, the little nuggets of information were very good. So seven out of 10. If you're just starting your self-improvement, very good book. If you're a little bit further in your self-improvement, what you need to take away is just what I told you right there. See ya.